In this video, we're going to be looking at how to construct the orthocenter of a triangle using GeoGebra. So first of all, let's get rid of the things that we do not need. We don't need the algebra section and we don't need our axes. All right, but we do need a triangle. So let's get that on the page using our polygon tool. And we click one, two, three times, and then we click a fourth time to close the triangle. Now, an orthocenter is the intersection point or the point of concurrency of the three altitudes of the triangle. So when we think of altitude, well, usually we call it height. You know, it's the, the line segment going from a vertex perpendicular down to the opposite side or from a vertex over perpendicular to, to the opposite side. So we need three of those, those line segments here. So the thing about it though, is that the line segment may not be inside the triangle. So this perpendicular height would be that I'm tracing out here. But if I were to take this point, well actually, if I were to take this point and move it over here, notice a perpendicular line would go outside of our triangle. So we actually have to extend these line segments that make up our triangle. And that's one of our first steps here. So let us create some lines um, using our line tool from point to point. So we need three of those lines, so another here. And finally, a third here. All right, so now that we've extended our three line segments and turned them into lines, now we can make perpendicular lines going to those, or perpendicular segments going to those lines. So we're making our altitudes now. So in order to do that, I need my perpendicular line tool. That's right here. And so I can go from this point to this line and I've created a perpendicular line going from vertex to line, and so that is my altitude. I have two more of those to make, so one from this point to this line, and one from this point to this line. So notice that this is one big crazy mess. Let's try and clean that up a little bit here. Um, first of all, let's use the move tool and make this triangle a little bit more something we're used to seeing. So I'm making it a cute, a cute little triangle. All right, so if we have an acute triangle, notice our perpendicular lines or altitudes are meeting here. All right, so now it's your job to discover what happens, what else, when else, <laughs> whenever we move or triangle and change it from acute to right to you know, up to use, whatever. All right, have fun.